Next, we want to get a look at even more local races. Well, of course, that starts in the city of Madison. Gloria Reyes conceded the mayor's race about 930 this evening. Incumbent Mayor Satsi Rhodes Conway holding off that challenge, earning a second term by about a 10 point margin. 97% of precincts now are in. Let's continue our team coverage. Now, Catherine Merck is live at the Rhodes Conway gathering tonight on Madison's near east side. Catherine. <laughs> There's a lot of excitement here at Turnkey Madison on East Washington Avenue. Within the last hour, Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway told us that Gloria Reyes called her to succeed. She told us that in her speech that she's excited to share a political role in this state with other people who share similar values to her. There was a lot of excitement in this room when Janet Protasewicz got a victory call from the AP. In her speech, she also addressed what she's excited about in her next term in the city. I am uh, really excited to work with the next council. There's a lot of work to do, um, and I'm looking forward to working with the successful alders uh, as we go forward. Sati Rhodes Conway is the second female mayor in the city's history, along with the first openly out LGBTQ mayor. We're going to send things over now to McKenna Alexander at her opponent Gloria Reyes' watch party on the city's west side. McKenna. Yeah, Catherine, as you just mentioned, this is a historic race in many ways as two as the both candidates were female. Now, even though Reyes did lose tonight, the feeling here is still optimistic. Whenever Reyes entered, she was greeting people, hugging family members, and that's continued throughout the night. No one has really walked out of the Caspian Grill here on Junction Road. Everyone is so optimistic and that channeled into her concession speech to Rhodes Conway. While I am disappointed with the outcome, I do not consider this a loss. You see, I was not supposed to make it this far. Significant barriers that life threw at me, but still remained determined and resilient to ensure that the hard work of my parents was not in vain. Rhea says that even though she did not win tonight, she's still incredibly proud of the team of the work that her team put into this campaign and is also proud of the issues that were brought to the forefront during this election. She ended her speech tonight by saying that she hopes the mayor puts the people first going into the next going into her next term. Live in Madison, McKenna Alexander, News 3 Now. McKenna, Catherine, thanks to both of you covering the Madison mayoral race tonight.